So once we have our Redis CLI installed in our local machine, I want to talk about how we can be able to run our basic CRUD operations on our cache or on our Redis uh, CLI. So in this case, what we can do is that if I want to see all the keys that we have in our, in our cache, I can basically type in keys, right? And then star basically means I want to get all the keys that we have in our cache. And you can see we have no keys at all in our cache. So it basically means that we have no key value pair. So what we can do is that if I want to insert a key value pair, right, I can basically type in sets and then we type in this key value, right, oh, sorry, the key name and the value, right. So let's say if I want to say the key is, uh, is name and then the value is Eric, right. Um, and then if I want to retrieve that again, okay, so I can basically type in get and then the key name is going to be name, right, this is the key name. Um, and then if I want to enter, you can see this is the value, right? So it's basically a key value pair, just like a hash table um, or a hash, uh, hash map, right? So in this case, if I want to, you know, let's say if I want to retrieve, or in this case, if I want to override this key name, right? I can basically update this key, right? I type in this name, right? I want to change it to Eric2, right? And you can see if I want to get name, you can see it becomes Eric2. It basically overrides the value for this key okay and then i can also basically delete a key value pair so i can basically type in delete right and it, and it basically gives you okay so i have to input a key so i can also probably delete multiple key right so what i can do is i can basically type in a name right and this will basically delete this value uh, or this key value pairs but before that let's type in right to see how many keys that we have in this case we have one key right keep one key value pair um, and then if I want to delete right so delete name and this will delete one key value pair and then the one basically means that is true right zero means false so this return um, output basically means is a true or false right so you can see that we can we successfully delete this key value pair and that's why it's output one and one means true in this case if I want to or list out all the keys that we have in this case we have no keys at all and I can insert another, right? Let's say if I insert this key value pair and I check, you can see we have one key value pair and I want to just uh, insert another key, right? Let's say if I want to insert um, height, for example, and the height in this, in this case, we can also input like an integer value, right? I can put like 185, right? Um, and then in this case, if I enter and I click on list, you can see I have two key value pair and I can also delete all the keys, right? All the all the data that we have in our um, in our data by you know entering flush all, and this will basically delete everything that we have in our cache. So if I were to uh, you know check on all the keys key value, uh, keys that we have, you can see we have empty array, right? So now you can see this is basically how we perform basic CRUD operation, right? Key uh, create, update, uh, read, and delete in our uh, in our Redis.